to moving vlog four. It's so crazy. This is like going by so fast. Um, but I made the kids some breakfast, um, which doesn't happen all the time. Like, don't think I'm like that mom. Um, but made them some breakfast and took them to school. Now I'm kind of finishing up more cleaning. <clears throat> Today, um, our house is getting destaged. So when we were listing our house, I am such a minimalist that I don't like a bunch of things on the walls and, and stuff like that. And so our realtor just suggested that we put a few things on the walls <laughs> to make it just look more homey, um, which I am not opposed to that. I had plans, you know, the more we got into it, but I just, I have to really love something to be willing to put it on the wall. So anyway, um, the house got staged by a professional stager. So she's coming today to take everything down and um, take it out of the house. So I think that once that's done, it will feel like there's less things for us to pack up because there's just things everywhere. And so that's happening this morning. And then we got a call yesterday asking if it was okay if the U-Haul boxes came a day early because they were already in town. There's no like extra fee or charge or anything for that. Um, but those are supposed to get delivered today and I'm trying to figure out how in the world those are gonna <laughs> fit in our driveway because first we have like a huge, our, our driveway is like a big slant or hill. Um, so I'm curious how that's gonna go um with them because there's six and so that's getting done today and then i'm not sure what all curtis is working so i'm not sure what all is going to get done i've got some phone calls to make for different things that need to be put in place so welcome to vlog moving vlog day four so these were just a few of the pieces that we had on the walls and she's actually already loaded up pretty much everything else into her car, but sorry, I would have recorded more while she was doing all that, but you know, you don't really wanna um, put anything, put anybody on the spot and you know, anyway. So <laughs> our curing is also pretty much done so I am gonna go to Starbucks I've had one coffee it's really probably plenty but I'm gonna go grab us another coffee really quick and I just got a notification that our U-Haul boxes are coming in now and so I'm hoping to get there and get back before they get here just in case we need to redirect where the boxes are gonna go and figure all that out so I'm gonna run in and do that really quick and we'll check up in a little bit. Okay, the boxes are here and they are ready to be unloaded. All right, a little update. So um, I just laid down with the baby for a little while after those boxes got delivered. I plan to actually open them and show the size and everything in just a little bit, but I needed to, after picking up the kids, I needed to go, or I need to go, pick up some groceries and I've been like kind of putting it off a little bit because I don't want to get too much. Like I mentioned, I think in yesterday's video, it's like really difficult to figure out just the right amount of things that we need to get in order to have dinner and everything like that because I mean I just get so sick um, going out to eat or like fast food and stuff it really really upsets my stomach and so I just need something homemade and comforting so I was thinking like chili or, or some kind of pot roast which is heavy you know like maybe something from a restaurant would be but I don't know there's something about it at least being homemade that feels a little bit less heavy or like less um, junky I don't know <laughs> I don't know the right words but um, anyway so I am heading to the grocery store to pick up a few things
and then I'll probably start cooking and then show you as soon as Kurt gets off work, which I'll, he'll probably be off work by the time I get back. But we'll show you around inside the little U-Haul boxes. I'm very curious to see how everything fits in them. It's gonna be interesting. So um, I'll check back in in just a little bit. Okay, so this is the box. Well, this is one that we're trying to open. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, wow, that's cool. This is with them all zipped. Can you get it? That's, whoa, that's super, okay. We need to remember all of these, um, barcodes okay and they all came with furniture pads you got places do, you, to hide things in. do you think my only concern is the couch it's like, yeah it's gonna fit it should in it's the two fit. pieces, it should be fine, right? I've got a saw. It's good. Fit. You have a saw? I have a saw. Have a saw. <laughs> That's not the way I want it to fit. And then label the picture with whether we're going to pull it out or not when we get there. Is this where you're going to where you're going to go? We're going to pack up you. You want to ride in the box? <laughs> Be a lot more quiet for us. <laughs> I like how secure it is. There's like a ton of, of latches. Don't smash your finger. Maybe it's gonna be echo. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. All right, so those are the boxes completely. Those are the boxes completely unloaded. So we'll see how much stuff we can fit into each box. We have six of them. I don't know if we're gonna need all six. So we'll see. Um, they seem a little bit bigger when you walk inside of them than they appear on the outside. So I think we'll be able to get it. I think we'll be able to get it all in. We'll see. I also obviously am back from the grocery store and started a roast. So I put that in the pressure cooker so that it would cook really fast. So waiting on that. Let's see. <laughs> Hey, so it's actually Wednesday now and I did not record anything today because it was just kind of a day for me to take a little break. Um, so I did make, I think pretty much all the phone calls that I needed to make to turn off services here and start them, um, in the next place. And so that's not really that exciting. And, um, we had someone come out and clean out our dryer vent because that was actually the only thing that the buyers requested um, from the um, from the inspection and so that was taken care of and that's pretty much been it it's been kind of very low-key Kurt was working and you know the older kids were at school so Lane and I just kind of took it easy and took care of some of those housekeeping type 
things that need to get done as well before we move. And then tomorrow, Kurt is actually taking the day off and we have the movers coming to load up the U-Haul boxes. And I hope that that footage of the boxes turned out okay. <laughs> um, just looking inside them, they're so much bigger than I thought they were gonna be when I walked in it. And we'll be showing what they look like totally packed. I think I mentioned it, but I would love if we were actually able to get all of our stuff out in less than the six that they brought. Um, because we just downsized so much stuff. We gave away so many large items that hopefully we won't need all six, but who knows? You know, when you start packing things, then you realize you still have more than you thought you did, so. We will see tomorrow how that goes, how those fill up. And I like it, if I didn't mention, I like that you can um, take a picture and label each of the barcodes on the boxes because things like from our garage that we're not gonna need, um, I'm just planning to leave it in storage, not even try to unpack it when we get to this apartment because we won't need any of that stuff really, so. Hopefully there's just gonna be a designated box full of all the things that we are not gonna need over the next six or seven months. And so excited. I really have been so impressed so far with this whole U-Haul um, experience. We've always used U-Haul used um, when we moved out here and then when we moved from our apartment in Austin to our house. And so we've always used U-Haul. And when I called Pods to see their services, I really wasn't very comfortable with the representative that I talked with. Um, he was very pushy, even though you know I explained I needed to just talk through all the numbers with my husband and you know talking about I had still been researching what we were gonna use and he was very pushy you can't get an online quote whereas with these U-Haul boxes I was able to get a quote right online you know you don't have to talk to somebody and have them sell you something and so overall I've been extremely happy we get constant updates through text and phone calls from which part of the process that we're in and then you pay as you go with each step of the process so um, we paid for the movers because they include that as well it's, and then I want to say it's included they outsource movers in your area and so we paid that part first and then we paid the amount when the boxes got delivered we'll pay the next amount when they get picked up and then so forth and so on and so i really really like that and it was half the price of a pod half that wasn't even i mean that the pod didn't even come with movers and or you know that wasn't even a service that was offered within that price so I'm shocked and um, so far everything has been going really well so we'll fully update on the end of this process and how it all went um, when it was all said and done so because I am pretty sure this is a fairly new service that U-Haul is offering I don't recall seeing these boxes um, for for any, I, I don't know, I feel like they're they're pretty new. So we'll be excited to give you a full overview, review on them. But so far I'm very pleased and um, it's just been going well so far. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Sorry, there really wasn't much to film today, like I said. So all of the footage is from yesterday. Hi. Give me a minute. All the footage on here is from yesterday, so I hope that you'll follow along with the next few I days. Because <laughs> uh, tomorrow we're packing up the boxes and then Friday they're getting shipped. So, very exciting. 
I have so much left to do still. There's still so much more to pack. And I think I was originally not going to do any of the cardboard boxes, but I think I'm going to have to go to U-Haul tomorrow and get some, some cardboard boxes <laughs> for different things. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you have a wonderful night yeah. and we'll see you tomorrow. Yay! <laughs>